Hello everyone, so this time I will show you a little bit few tricks uh, about Proactive Chat Invitation. So I have this version style and uh, we have these two fields. Now let's create a Proactive Chat Invitation. There is zero. Uh, instant Invitation. Uh, let's say time on site uh, 20 seconds. And we have few new options. Welcome to our website. Let's make this message. And we have a bot option, which we will use a little bit later. So let's save it. Now let's refresh. So we have invitation. And we see once invitation is triggered, it shows a small uh, uh, widget. But let's say we want to show full widget once invitation is triggered. In the recent updates, I did this option, and as you see in design, new widget options show widget uh, on invitation to chat. It applies only on desktop devices. Let's click update. Now, if we refresh, you see uh, it opens full. Now, let's make this. Uh, Layout a little bit bigger and make required field on the message. This part is more already. I have like a few videos regarding the start chat form, so I just uh, do not explain very much, just uh, enable it and, uh, and let's crash. So we have something like this once invitation is triggered. Also, now for example, uh, let's make one simple bot. Uh, simple bot, and uh, let's name it just bot. And here, uh, let's go to simple bot and group name data. Let's make it data trigger. And save and we want response like uh, just one quick replies uh, buttons. Uh, let's see our services. Uh, add another need help. Let's save it. Let's uh, create one more trick on our services. Services save and uh, to trigger and choose our services. Uh, can need help? I will not be creating now, so perhaps I just delete it to avoid confusion. So we have uh, this one, we don't have any message, but now we can do one more trick. Let's go to proactive invitation and choose bot, choose simple bot, choose trigger to execute default trigger. And uh, let's make it like this. So now if I refresh, you see we have a button which comes from the bot, uh, but chat is not started even now. So, but if a visitor clicks a, a button here, chat starts. Oh, you see, it requires a message. So we have also changed uh, this uh, option. This is, no, let's have chat. Okay, and we make it optional. And actually, we can even hide it. We could uh, so just refresh. You see this invitation and click a button. And you see uh, our services, and uh, instantly visitor gets response. It makes sense, perhaps, uh, uh, to write a message in the bot itself in this first uh, message, like uh, how can I help you? Or, or better, logically, it would be like choose one of the options. Let's save it. Okay, chat is started. Let's end the chat. Refresh. 
to trigger again, we just delete uh, we'll delete this cookie. And we need to wait like 20 seconds, but it should pop out automatically actually by itself because we have checked the messages. So let's wait and see. Okay, okay. So we should see this invitation mesh and at the bottom, yeah, you see? It can be automatically welcome to our website and choose one of the options and we have a bottom our service there so it feels like chat already was started but it was not started and we do not have like a lot of dummy chats in in back office only the ones where a visitor took some action so that's the kind of new trick you can do with reactive chat invitations so bye for now